众朋友晚安，我是黄明明，欢迎收看今天晚上的独立特派员节目。有一句老话说“人定胜天”，这是为了鼓励人们去挑战困难的任务。但是对一些环境专家和保育专家来说，过去几个世纪的经验让他们发现到，想要逆势去挑战大自然，最后不但是徒劳无功，反而要花更多的力气去弥补当初错误的决定。美国爱尔华河流域的大坝就是一个明显的例子。上个星期，独立特派员报道了华盛顿州爱尔华河流域拆除大坝的现况。今天要来继续分析，为什么拆除两座大坝需要花上四年的时间？主要原因就是多达三千万立方公尺的淤积土石，如果用卡车一车一车的运送出去，不但旷日费时，成本更是高的惊人。于是，工程专家决定分阶段拆除，利用河流本身把淤积的土石冲刷下去。去，也就是让大自然自己来当搬运工。但是这项计划的难度非常高，专家必须要精密计算拆除大坝的时间，还要持续不断地进行监测。独立特派员这一次特别跟着监测小组攀岩溯溪，记录下大自然的鬼斧神工是如何重新刻画爱尔华河流域的新面貌。A lot of sediment that's been settled out at the bottom of the lakes for almost 100 years. So now it's beginning to move downstream. Is that the dams were built so long ago? Um, at a time when, when this area was still very wild and we didn't have a lot of good survey information, how far is the river going to go or where is the river going to go, it's much harder to tell when you don't know what's under all of the mud and the gravel. The, the locals here remember a sand beach many decades ago uh, are able to see this again.流域两座大坝开始拆除了那一天起，这些在人工湖中沉睡了一百年的淤积物，成了爱尔华河流域富裕岸的最大挑战。迎接这些巨大挑战的是由州政府及科学家们组成的监控小组，他们全副装备，要
一世纪的土石淤积数量之多，难以估计，让科学家们伤透脑筋。Uh, there's about 30 million cubic meters of sediment. Some included removing all the sediment、uh, by mechanical means and trucking it away.、Uh, that very expensive. Maybe 200 million U.S. dollars、uh, just to do that. Other schemes may be dredging the sediment. Underwater and putting it into a slurry pipeline and sending it to the ocean,、uh, also somewhat expensive. And then we also looked at what we call the river erosion alternative, where if we remove the dam slowly in controlled increments, then the river will gradually cut through the sediments. 换句话说，科学家们想出经济又实惠的方法，是让爱尔华河当搬运工，把这些土石给运出海去。不过，想让爱尔华河好好上工，可不是件简单的事，同时还得进行监测调整。为了了解爱尔华河夹带泥沙的速度及深度，科学家们乘坐橡皮艇顺流而下，水流有时缓慢，有时却湍急汹涌。监测小组人员有的在水面上，有的在岸边，用最现代化的数据试图记录并勾勒出大坝拆除前后的水域变化。We don't have a, a pre-dam topographic map of the of the valley bottom, so by looking at、uh, the older tree stumps, we can identify what the original ground was, and we can also measure the water surface and see what it was relative to the original ground. 探访过人工湖后，监测小组往下游的坝底走。不过拆除后的坝底必须要攀爬岩壁。踏着满布青苔的巨石往下走，才能到达。可以吗？这样，慢慢下来。坝底的位置因为原本峡谷的高度落差，水流湍急汹涌。相对的，也有更大的力量带走更多的沙石及漂流木。Elwa Dam was completely removed in September 2012, so our sediment team is down here today to look at how much sediment has moved through this canyon, which is the start of the passage down five miles to the ocean. So the crew is here today to look at the conditions of the sizes of the rocks that have made it this far down. 河水的深度、流速，还有岸边的石头大小，都是科学家们评估爱尔华河这个大自然的搬运工是否有好好工作的指标。So we, what we're doing is we're gridding out a, a three by three, three foot by three foot grid, and we're going to do a bulk sample of the sediment. You can see it's a mixture of、uh, probably cobble, large gravel size, down to small gravel, down to sands. The smallest rocks, the tiny gravels, they move the quickest when they're released past the dam, and they can travel very fast down the river out to sea. The the larger rocks, they take more energy from the river to push them down the system, so they travel slower. So that's why we come out here and measure the sizes to see how much progress these bigger rocks have made traveling their way down to the sea. We want to make sure that they're Moving along at a pace fast enough. 除了定期确认爱尔华河搬运土石的速度，河水的浊度也是备受关注的焦点
。如果鲑鱼会说话，大坝拆除后，他们虽然迫不及待地回到出生地，但他们一定会问：以前那个清澈的冰川水到哪去了 ？Many of the fish who inhabit these rivers live with a certain amount of turbidity just from the glaciers, but Uh, this is a little bit more than they need, and so right now it's it's not good for the fish. 不止鱼儿们困惑，仰赖爱尔华河供应饮水的人们更是相当忧虑。这滚滚泥沙到什么时候才有尽头 ？So now we 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 spent a long time. We we took a lot of care to try to、um, warn people in advance. It will stay muddy as the river continues to transport、um, uh, mud and silt downstream. That we think will probably be about a three five to five year process. 污水处理是爱尔华河富裕案的重点之一。为了处理大量土石淤积顺流而下，污水处理厂在大坝拆除动工前就新建完成。大坝拆除的阶段进度也随着监测土石流动的结果调整。目前上游的格莱恩斯峡谷大坝暂时停工，就是担心水质恶化。The one of the water treatment plants that was constructed to prepare for dam removal、uh, is just not functioning as it was intended. So、um, rather than continue with dam removal. It's been put on hold until some corrections can be made to that plant. These two U.S. biggest construction projects are a huge challenge for all engineers and scientists. But for a kid who grew up on the Atlantic Ocean, who often fished in the Atlantic Ocean with his father, Andy, to show that the restoration of nature is his dream job. I'm very happy. This is my dream job. It's This river is a river that turned me into a scientist. It's a river that I have hiked on,、uh, you know, every year since I was like five years old. So, seeing it turning back into a river again is is an incredible sight. 参与爱尔华河富裕及大坝拆除案后，引燃了安迪对孕育自己生命的这片土地的热情。他自费购买摄影机、电脑软体，天天进行记录。因为当大坝拆除后，大自然自我疗愈和寻找出路的力道是如此强劲，每一刻他都不愿错过。The stumps in the upper reservoir that still had the marks from when they were cut down a hundred years ago,、um, and when the water First drop through the reservoir,、um, a lot of those stumps started、uh, weeping sap from the from the heart of the tree that still smelled like the tree was just cut down, and the wood was polished up by the sediment moving through to where it, it looked like it was cut down yesterday. And Iowa 流域是美国伐木业最兴盛时期的重要流域之一，而这些当年百年前被砍伐的千年老树，在大坝新建后就沉入湖底，一直沉睡了百年的时间。A hundred years ago, most of this area was primary forest that had never been cut down full scale.、Um, this was one of the last places in the country to experience commercial logging, and so、um, it's one of the few places where you can get a, a sense of the size of the forests that were here. Is now in the old lake bed. It's almost like it was captured in time. 短短不到两年的时间，爱尔华河流域的地形地貌都产生剧烈的变化。监测小组继续来到最下游的出海口，领受大自然给他们最宝贵的一刻。We knew that the, when the sediment got here, it would begin to deposit and it would build this delta back out. But we didn't have a very good way of predicting how much. Qualitatively, we knew it would become bigger, but we didn't know how much bigger. And this is actually very exciting to see that this delta area is becoming restored. 一世纪来，因为大坝挡住上游的泥沙，爱尔华河出海口的美丽沙滩成了历史满布的海岸。但大坝拆除后不到两年时间，沙滩重新现身。I've heard stories from some tribal members、um, about clamming on the beach when they were children or when their parents were children. So digging clams, and、uh, when I have 
the, the beach, as long as I've known it, has never looked like it was anywhere where clams could live. And now it's finally starting to look like somewhere where you could dig clams again. So, <laughs> nice changes. You know, in the U.S., we have thousands, tens of thousands of dams that have reached, some, many have reached their lifetime and just need to be removed from the landscape. And we, uh, we have really good technology for building dams. We don't have the same level of technology for removing dams. Ayahuahua 如何谦卑的与大自然共存